guys welcome back to my channel so today we have a simple everyday kind of Valentine's Day glittery eyeshadow look so for everyone out there that decided to vote on my poll that they wanted to see kind of a simple look I decided to do that for you guys so I hear everyone out um, but for the most part this was the look that I decided to do there's a couple things in this look that I will obviously say in the video that you guys can change up so you guys don't have to add that color like that's right here but you guys will see it in the video but for the most part this is gonna be it so I hope you guys enjoy this video and like I always say make sure you guys um, like my, my videos make sure you guys comment share and subscribe this with anyone that you guys hope would like these videos and yeah that's pretty much it so I hope you guys stay tuned for this look and I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in a bit all right you guys so we already have our eyebrows done and as you guys can see I um, added concealer and some setting powder on my eyelids so today we're gonna try to do a simple kind of a simple Valentine's Day look for the ladies out there that don't use makeup as much or just want something super simple so it's just gonna be kind of like a soft pink with like browns and maybe black or something or like a dark brown um, I'm still not quite sure on what I want to do but this is pretty much for the ladies out there that want something super simple so we're gonna start off by dipping into the sultry palette by the Anastasia Beverly Hills and we're gonna take this shade right here so the shade birch so it's like a soft um, brown so it's kind of like a it's just like a soft brown so just add this all over your lids don't go too high up on this just kind of add it all over here and then just stop there Okay, so once you have your shade down, you guys can skip the step that I'm going to do for the ladies that don't want something super dark. Um, but if you guys want to add a little bit more depth into the, like, the little outside of your sockets, I am going to take the shade Twig, so the same palette, and I'm going to take this, like it's like a brown gray shade. It looks more like gray, but take this shade and just add it on this outer part, and then whatever you have left over on your brush, just kind of sweep that all the way forward, so do like windshield wiper motions on your eyes. Alright, and then once again, I'm going to deepen the corners once more with the darker shade. So I'm going to take the shade Dystopian, so this one right here. So it's the darkest brown we have in this palette. So add this just on the outer corners again, and then just blend away to make sure that there's no harsh lines. And then after that, we're going to dip into like the pinks and our glitter shades. So like I said, you guys don't have to do that shade or do it as dark as I'm doing it, but that's how I'm going to do it. So I have my shades down for my kind of like the outside of my eyes so now you guys can either do one or the other so you can do what I'm gonna do or obviously skip that I like to put something sticky so I usually like to use my foundation or concealer to kind of do like a cut crease in a way but I'm not gonna do a cut crease it's gonna be like mm, it's just gonna like <clears throat> be kind of like a half cut crease but like I said it's we're not gonna do a cut crease so for you that the girls out there that are like bro like you said this is gonna be easy like I swear it is so if you guys can see I just like to put this down so that my eyeshadow has kind of like another base to kind of stick onto there so I do this and that's pretty much it like 
it's super easy like obviously a little bit better I'm just kind of like going super quickly but just kind of get a map of where you want your shades to go so this is where I want mine to go and then you're gonna put your the shade you want to add there then that's pretty much it for this step and just kind of keep blending make sure there's no harsh lines so keep on patting down and then you can take the other brush you were using and kind of just add a little bit on there and then that's pretty much it for that and then we're gonna dip into another shade so I want to dip into this shade so we're gonna dip into the shade rose quartz so I don't know if my camera's picking that up, but it's kind of like a shimmery pink shade. So with that same brush, you guys can just dip into there and add this all over the lid. But don't extend it too far out to the outer corner because you still want to see that um, dark brown color out there. So just add this all over. So I already have my foundation and all of that done. So like I mentioned, there's two ways or different kind of eye looks you can go with this. So I'm going to stick with more of a natural one. So we're going to dip back into the um, uh, Sultry palette and we're going to take the shade Birch. And then just lightly kind of drag this all along the bottom of your eyeshadow, eye, eyeliner line. Um, and then we're going to dip into the shade the dark brown the dystopia and just do the outside so I'm gonna skip through that okay so like I said this is pretty much the end look and I did mention that you can do two different things with this so if you guys do want a little bit pop of color and you guys aren't kind of like you guys want a little bit more than this I would recommend taking the same palette dip into the shade bloom so that's super bright pink right there add a little bit on the inner corner and it's gonna look really really pretty so I'm gonna do that just for the look but like I said you guys can pop some lashes and you're done with this with the nude lipstick or even just some lip gloss on top totally cute it would look really nice but like I said I'm gonna add the pink there and then I'm, I'm gonna skip and then put my lashes on and all of that good stuff okay ladies so this is pretty much the end look like I said there are certain things that you guys could do differently or things you didn't have to do and stuff like that but for the most part this is the end of Valentine's Day simple I look for all of you ladies out there like I said you guys don't have to add that pop of pink in there it's just something to give it like a little bit of an edge but it would totally do fine without that and like I said I added a nude lip gloss on top so like I said you guys want something that you can wear out like you guys can dress this up or dress this down so this is something that i would honestly kind of recommend for the ladies out there that want to kind of just dip into like makeup for like the starters so yeah but for the most part this was the end of look something super quick and something super easy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like i always say if you guys enjoy this video make sure to give me the thumbs up so make sure to like comment share and subscribe this video if you guys have anything you guys want to let me know make sure you guys comment down below and then like i always say thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye